So, we move on to another final. The men's 100 metres freestyle, S6. Anders Olsen, the world record holder, does go in this final. The defending Paralympic champion from Beijing just four years ago. This really is a huge night in the aquatic centre. It is now officially at capacity, 17,000 people going bonkers. Matthew Horwood in one for Great Britain, 1.11.47 to qualify. Adriano de Lima goes in two for Brazil, 1.10.96 earlier today. In lane three, the third fastest qualifier on paper, Lorenzo Perez Escalona from Cuba, 1.10.64. Sebastian Iwano comes out for Germany now in lane four, the fastest qualifier, the only man to go under 1.10, 1.09.80. In lane number five, just about to come out in a very short moment there, the popular Darag MacDonald of Ireland. In lane five, second fastest qualifier with top 110.59. My mother will be pleased about that. Born in Ireland many years ago. A real fan of the Irish team here, and Ireland doing very well indeed. Matthew Hannapel goes in lane six for Australia. 110.95, just 18 years of age. The youngest man in this final. Well, there is the world record holder, the Paralympic record holder, the defending champion, Anders Olsen, goes in seven for Sweden. He's now 46 years of age, a real veteran and role model for the national team. 1-11-0 for this morning. Su Qing goes in eight to complete the lineup for the People's Republic of China. By contrast, he's just 19. 1-12-29 this morning for Su Qing. So here we have it, the fastest men in the world, eight men all line up for this, the men's 100 metres freestyle S6, two lengths of the pool. Matthew Orwood in lane number one. Very quick off the starting blocks, but leading in lane number six is Hannapel from Australia, the 18-year-old. Look at this performance, though, by Zhu Qing. Absolutely flying in lane number eight. Absolutely brilliant underwater. So quick with his breathing. Breathing quite regularly there, and he'll need to. Massive amount of oxygen being burnt up by the speed and rip of his kick. Dolphin kicking there to seven metres out of the turn. Absolutely brilliant performance here. Closest to us, lane number eight, Zhu Qing from the People's Republic of China. Iwano in second place. Iwano was third at the turn. Let's watch the clock for the world record. Olsen is the world record holder. Down in about six at the moment, but it's all about Zhu Qing. He's going to take the gold medal, and is it going to be a world record just outside 105.82? Iwano takes a silver for Germany from lane four, 107.34. Bronze goes to Perez Escalona from lane three. The Cuban takes the bronze in 108.01. 
Zhu Qing only just snuck into that final. He was only in by a few hundreds this morning, way down on his best. He looked tired, he looked fatigued, he's had a long week in the pool. One happy young man. And here he is into the final closing stages. Not kicking too hard into the finish there. His legs were absolutely beat. Well, we refer to a maximum kick rate as a six beat kick. We would call that over kicking. Summers can go to an eight beat, but it's really very unusual and so demanding. And that's what won him.